Hi, once again. <clears throat> okay, so today I'm going to talk about cursing and blessings, but more about cursing. Um, I want to give you some practical tips on things you can do to stop cursing <laughs> and why it's important. So, um, I think I'm going to start with all scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, training in righteousness. So that's from 2 Timothy 3.16. I'm going to start by telling you what curses are. Curses are things that come into your life that cause you a burden. They're there to torment you. They cause you hardship. Um, they can bring plague. They can um, cause calamities and tribulation. And actually, they can cause doom. Curses can be generational. There are lots of good videos on YouTube about generational curses and prayers to get rid of to get rid of them and ask the Creator to lift them off of you um, for your children and for yourself. But I'm just going to tell you a little story about um, kind of how I got rid of some curses. <laughs> so when I was a young girl, I grew up in a household where people cursed all the time. Every second word started with a bad word. And when you grow up in that environment, you think that that's normal and that's how everyone speaks. Until you get older and you get out into the real world and you find out there that there are some people that never curse. <laughs> there are people that actually have a vocabulary. And so it took me a while as I was growing to change my behaviors and I didn't do it on my own. First of all, I believe that it's the Creator that puts it in your heart to change. He chooses and calls you to um, to want to do better in your life. And I think that this is a desire that everybody has. Um, we were brought into a world that God had created to be good. And only God is good. But that world fell into sin. A curse was put upon the entire earth. So, since we are, this isn't our home, heaven is supposed to be our home. Where God is, is our home if you choose to love your Creator. Um, and then God provides a whole plan, and I'm not going to get into all that. What I'm going to do is continue to tell you how I stopped cursing. Because I didn't know how to say a full sentence without having a curse word in it. So I always loved learning and knowledge. And I hung around with people a lot older than me. My whole entire life I just sought learning. I loved it. Um, but the problem was when I would go to try and share my feelings, um, I would get... Uh, I wouldn't have the words to describe the way things the way I wanted to. So I ended up buying a dictionary because all these people were using these big fancy words around me and I had no idea what they all meant. So every time I was sitting at a bus stop or at a dentist appointment or um, any time that I took five minutes, um, sometimes uh, just sitting waiting for somebody, I took out my dictionary and I started just browsing through different words and reading it. And a miraculous thing happened. That miraculous thing was my vocabulary changed in a very short time. I'd say six to ten months. As I got older and I was sharing in, in uh, teaching circles, healing circles, um, when I was in Toronto, I had a group of young men who were really struggling with um, their tongue and having control over it. Um, and I gave them all dictionaries. 
And within six months, they could express themselves. It empowered them. They didn't use all the curse words. It changed their relationships with their friends, with their parents. Um, so that one small little thing that you can add into your life can stop you from cursing. Now, cursing has a whole bunch of different meanings. And I want to say that um, I think it's in, um, let me see, death and life is in the power of the tongue and those who love it will um, get just uh, just fruits, I believe that is. And that's Proverbs 18, 21. I might have misquoted that. But um, God hates a perverted speech and in Matthew, it tells you, I tell you on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak. For by your words, you will be condemned and you will condemn yourself. So basically, your words will put a curse on you at judgment. So first, I would tell you to repent, repent, which I'm always going to tell you. Um, and ask for God to uh, put inspire you with the Holy Spirit and find new words. There was another scripture that I remember too um, that I used as a young woman, which was I think uh, in Ephesians 5, that chapter, it says that, you know, as we become adults, we put away childish things and you get rid of your anger and your um, your fornication and all of the negative things that you're doing in your life and that you change and you have you learn about self-control and one of the biggest things that you need to change are your thoughts your thoughts have a process on how they come through you so what's in your mind comes into your heart and what's in your heart comes out on your tongue. So you want to be able to control your tongue. And at this time, in this world, people are getting in fights in malls and in on the street corners and everything and online because they cannot control their tongue. Or they choose the wrong words when they're trying to express themselves and it causes anger and hatred. So I just kind of want to show you how this works. It's what you hold in your mind and heart for others is the justice that you're going to receive. Um, very similar to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And I want to remind you that the Lord's word is, he, he is the word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This is how important your words are. So you don't want to put curses on your life. When we're wearing t-shirts and we're drinking out of cups, um, when we're looking at license plates with different slogans on it, I want you to be really careful what you choose to wear to drink out of, to eat on, um, because it becomes a part of you. And you are giving signs out whether you're cursing people or you're blessing them. Now, if you um, change your life, you will bring in blessings. God gives us promises, promises on what a righteous life um, brings and manifests, uh, his blessing will come upon you when you're trying to do right. When you're changing your words, it's going to change your life. Words matter. Things come from the heavens. They come through us. And on the seventh fold of, of thought, they manifest in this world. So 
What you hold in your mind and heart manifests the world that you live in. When a whole bunch of people come together in prayer um, and they're asking with the proper words that so that they can get a blessing upon them or they want something changed. When they come into one accord, it actually speeds up the process of the manifestation of those prayers. I remember when I was reading about Christ's disciples um, in the upper room. It wasn't until they came into one accord into unity in thought, in feeling, through their prayer, that Christ manifested to them um, after his resurrection. So I really want you to understand how important it is that what you speak has an effect on our world and the world that we share with others. So put blessings upon your life, blessings upon those around you by changing your words. There are many people out there confessing to be um, believers and the things that they're saying each and every day, I call feeding the beast. They are not talking about blessings and things that are positive and things that um, are truthful they are talking about negative things that bring in darkness. That's feeding the beast. You have a choice on how you're going to live, what you're going to say, how you say it. Be careful what, with your words. And if you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say anything at all. It's actually a wise person that can sit with their mouths closed and learn to listen. Um, <laughs> you'll learn a lot. Now, myself personally, I was tongue-tied as a child. <laughs> and I was f around five years old when I got my tongue cut. God loosened it so I could speak. And I've always, and I was teased a lot about being chatty. Um, so, that's my excuse, but I am working on my words. I try to choose them carefully. Um, and I do wish blessings upon everyone that's listening to this. Take a little advice and um, that's given to you in a loving way. And know that you have a chance to change our future, our world, um, by speaking blessings upon people. Pray that the curses are gone and lifted. Um, Christ will wash them away. And know that it's our future and the future that we bring in together that's going to bring true change. Thank you for listening. Oh, and I was supposed to say, please subscribe. Share my little channel. I'm just starting out. I'm not very techy, And... Um, I'll share what I can, and I just want to see, did I forget anything else that I wanted to mention? Oh, just go and read God's Word. It will free you. Blessings to everyone. Thank you.